Okay, I'm gonna speed through this a little bit because we are this you started this stream so late. It's my bad. I like life happened, man. Life happened. I've had a I've had a day. I've had a day. So uh, therefore, your psychologist is here. <laughs> exactly, it's very <laughs> handy. Like Oscar is so calm. Like it's it's um. Yeah. It's just uh, calming to be around you. Oh, I think nice. like, were you always like that? Or is that some kind of vibe that you gradually s picked up while like in the profession? That's a good question. I think my, my parents told me that I was very speedy when I was young. Then I hit my head at like eight years of age yeah. and become, became very calm. <laughs> so I don't know what actually so, okay. happened there. <laughs> All right, so like it's due to brain damage. Basically. Exactly, exactly. And also, I read this book about flow. I guess ah, you yeah, yeah, read I it. Know, I am, yeah. And I read it uh, when I went to school when I was young, and they talked a lot about like, don't multitask, mm. do whatever you do fully. And I was like, okay, and you know, very receptive to information. I was like, I will do this. Oh, uh, nice. I will do this from now on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I said, when I'm walking, I'm walking. <laughs> that's my primary <laughs> uh, task. And oh, that's nice. When I'm standing here with you, I'm mm. standing here with you and all the fantastic people in this chat. <laughs> yes, like um, you, you basically learned mindfulness at a very, very like flow is not quite mindfulness, it's uh, work mindfulness, I suppose. Yeah, um, something like that. I, I usually say that mindfulness is kind of pre-state for achieving flow, since flow also requires you to have uh, a goal and a full uh, focus on the task ah, at yeah, hand yeah. And, and so on. But flow is a very nice starting point yeah. before you get into uh, so that kind of like, while we activities. Like, I think that we just like do that so like what is flow how do we how do you describe this mm. it's it was initially a book by Michaili, Zikshen, Michaili. Uh, exactly it's impossible it's so hard to google yeah, the flow book yeah, yeah, yeah. because she might like uh, some Michaili. russian uh, yeah he's not russian he is uh oh, it's little but it's um eastern europe okay um maybe someone in the chat yeah no, somebody so can somebody can probably go go link it for, for us, for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can find a flow book and link it for us oh my god we missed so many chat messages <laughs> yeah there are a lot of people yeah this is your crowd yeah that's cool cool it's yeah they they, they this is amazing Chick sent me high yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's um <laughs> all right so i uh yes to <laughs> The, de the definition yeah. is the, the, yeah. the loss of uh, sense of time because you have an ultimate uh, relationship between task difficulty and your level of uh, um, uh, like um, performance, so how good are you at a task. Oh, so it's um, basically like when you, like it's a feeling that you get when you play like a computer game mm -hmm. uh, where that is very well adapted yeah. to your skill level. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't bore you, but it also doesn't overwhelm you. Exactly, exactly. Ah. There are actually some psychologists who have studied flow in video games because then they realize that gamers tend to hate if you match it all the time, yeah. it also gets kind of frustrating. Ah. So they started uh, thinking about more of these like, now let's show off your skills since you oh. have um, become so good at something. So we add this. Um, oh, so they have actually like developed on the work. Yeah, uh, yeah, by, yeah. by thinking about yeah. Now just show off your skills, and then so maybe you are playing God of War. You're getting this oh, new yeah. axe, and you're getting better and better. But you don't feel that you're getting better. So then it's good to find the enemies that you fought in the beginning for a short period of oh. time so you can really feel that you have become good at something. I think uh, that this aspect is probably nice why Dark Souls is so popular because it's uh, it's basically you just initially you can hype like very fast just go to the end mm -hmm. um, because like the bosses are mostly skill based mm. but you're just you just walk there and it just kills you immediately. Yeah, yeah. It just murders you. Uh, and But the first enemies that you encounter are very, very difficult to deal with. Mm. Uh, but as you just progress, you just become better and you're just like, wow, I can't, I can't believe we had a problem with this enemy mm -hmm. before. Um, and uh, I play a lot, like, I've been uh, picking up Ninja Gaiden 2 again. Oh. Um, it's uh, I played so much in like Ninja Gaiden when mm. I like, and I was just obsessed with it 
like trying figuring out how to beat it on Master Ninja. And now just getting back into it, I'm actually even though I picked the hardest difficulty that you're allowed to do in the beginning, uh, I still get bored mm. uh, because I'm so good at it. Mm. But it's still like satisfying because I kind of like validate myself. I'm like, wow, I'm very good I'm at good. it. I'm yeah, very I'm good, good at it. Yeah. And I'm still like, it's still there. <laughs> Emma JST uh, loves the Souls game so much and think this is true. Yes, it is. It is. Firefly Captain subscribe. Thank you so much. It's the normal amount of time to achieve flow state. I get there from time to time, but I feel like I don't work long enough to get there most of the time. That's a very interesting. Oh yeah, um, yeah. How question. do you like with with meetings and uh, like uh, I find that in in programming there is this uh, this concept called build times. So uh, some software just just code a little bit and then you press run and it packages the app and puts it onto your phone and then mm. you check if it worked that kind of process and that kind of process is just often a little bit too long so you i tend to like fall out of that kind of flow state like i think it's like an interesting question like how do you maintain mm. you come into a flow state and how do you how do you maintain it mm. do you have any insights in this mm. I don't know if, if there are studies on uh, like the durations and and so on but i think that I mean, the um, things you need to get into sta state of flow is like the clear goal and yeah. a very clear feedback on the activities that you do in order to yeah. uh, to achieve that goal. And what can help is also to break down the goal in sub goals in order ah. to get the feedback closer in time in order to mm. get the uh, the rewards. So I mean, if you want to get into flow state a longer period of times, then you could like sh shop off your day into. Um, mm. smaller su uh, sub goals and yep. make sure that every part is um, giving you enough feedback um, so clear goal and uh, having small feedback cycles yeah, like yeah, that yeah. you are making progression towards yeah, the goal yeah. uh, I like like in that regard like I really like when I'm able to have a good unit testing suite um, getting geeky here um, but there is this software that I used to prop for a channel called Wallaby which is a very very satisfying test runner which runs your tests all the time. So you have like this, in programming, there's this concept called test-driven development, mm -hmm. which is based that you write a test first for your code. So you write a test like, this is supposed to happen. And then, of course, the test breaks because you have not actually implemented this functionality in the code. Mm. So now you have like a lot of green tests, but you have one red test. And then you uh, fix that test by writing the code and the test, poof, goes green. Mm. And now that it's green, you then you are allowed to also clean up the code a little bit. Mm. Uh, because you have all these tests checking that the code is okay, so now you can safely uh, safely change the code, mm. or refactoring as it's called. In, in I can recognize uh, this from trying to edit HTML uh, on yep. my site mm -hmm. and trying to like, where was that thing? Exactly. In a, in, and a friend just shoved it into one of those. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and HTML, like, it, it, the problem with code is that it's so ephemeral. HTML mm. is like, okay, I want to move this button here, I move two buttons here. Mm. But like code is a lot, oh, I have to think about all these all these cases mm. uh, and then make sure that it worked. And also every time you change something, you are likely to break something again. Mm. So it becomes like, the like reaching the feedback loop mm. uh, can be rather hard. Mm. Uh, and for me, like TDD is an excellent way of doing that. I saw mm. someone uh, writing, does watching Twitch while I'm supposed to be coding <laughs> help for the flow state? Well, <laughs> yes. <I'm afraid. laughs> no, well, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, of course, of course it does. <laughs> oh. It increases your feedback. You could post when you have uh, done something and we will give you high fives and thumbs up and we will provide you with that uh, feedback. Uh, yeah, like it's, Please uh, define yeah. your goal uh, with your coding in the chat and we can all check on you uh, in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not, not a completely bad idea. I like to have social social proof. Hello. Hope you enjoyed that clip. Uh, this is me from the future wearing a hoodie because my hair is garbage. If you enjoyed me and my psychologist friend Oscar talking about flow, uh, you should join our Discord, our chat art. Uh, at funfun.chat and join the self-care channel and uh, 
uh, say hi, ping me or ping Oscar, uh, and uh, just talk about, you know, how to feel better and feel more happy. Uh, please do that. Uh, it's free, and uh, you can do it right now. Fun fun chat, and then uh, self care. Do it now. Here. Here. No.